Hey, we're talking about exercise. How often should we be exercising, particularly children? Um, it's so, you know, we're, we're indoors a lot these days, yep. um, keeping yep. safe, you know. Yeah. I, I think as a, as a rough rule of thumb for children, I think it's important that they get at least one hour of moderate exercise. What's moderate? What's your day. definition of moderate? Well, it's certainly not walking to the cupboard or walking to the bedroom. I'm talking about, you know, um, playing a game of chasing outside or riding a bike or kicking a, a ball around, those sorts of things, for at least an hour a day. Mm. I, know, I know at this time, screen time has been something that a lot of children and parents have resorted to because, you know, we've been told to yes. stay indoors and, and yeah. stay safe. Yeah, no, a lot of, a lot of uh, questions and concerns about, you know, screen time and how much is appropriate. And the reality is that nobody really knows exactly how much is the appropriate amount of screen time for children. But certainly I think you should see it in the context of the rest of the things that they do during the day. Right. Um, making there, sure they... There's apps that you can do exercise with while yeah, watching. Yeah, and there's nothing per se wrong with, with using screens. I, I, I think in, in some ways, particularly for their social development, it's important for children to be connected with their friends, you know, um, in the virtual world as well as um, real real conversations with real people. So I, I don't think there's anything per se wrong with screen time, but it needs to be seen across, in a balanced way across all of the activities that the children do during the day. Right, and yeah. how, how can we encourage our children to become more active? Well, I, that, that, that is a tricky one, but I think it's, it's about changing the, 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 our levels of activity um, during the day so that there's all this what we call incidental exercise. Yes, I love that. And incidental <laughs> exercise essentially means all that exercise that you get without even thinking about it. Because I think most people find if you actually have an organised activity and you say, I'm going, to, I'm going to go for a run every day or something like that, it doesn't last for, for a long time. But if you uh, have in incidental exercise, which takes the form of maybe parking the car a block away from school. Right. You know, and getting or, your child to walk. Or to not necessarily yeah. choosing the car spot right near the shop that you're going to. Guilty. You, you, you're getting a lot of um, exercise um, in addition to what you would normally get. And even getting them to do some chores around the house. Exactly. Right yeah, way, all, the, yeah. all those things yeah. has that benefit as well. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr Hartshorn, for those no tips. Problem. I hope you keep active, um, stay fit and keep healthy and keep safe during these times. Keep it locked right here and mums at the table.